Hey guys, welcome to the video. It's gonna be a little bit different today. I'm gonna kinda narrate you through our day. Basically, I didn't really pick up the camera and vlog today, but one time I think with Benjamin. But we're trying to clean out our attic and I've only shown it a couple times, but let me just tell you, it's, it, it's not a pretty sight. Like, you know how you have the junk drawer in your kitchen? We, our attic was basically the junk. And anyways, it's gotten out of hand. <laughs> And I have been avoiding it because I haven't wanted to uh, touch it, basically. Um, so Charlie has started on it, and um, anyways, I'll let the next clip kind of show you what he's pulled out of here so far. And yeah. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? What's up? So I got up this morning, went to work on the house, and you're not going to believe this. Um, we were cleaning out our attic of some of the clothes we had. Now, you think Rhonda don't like to go shopping? Y'all look at this. Hey, they're not all moms. And I didn't buy all this. <laughs> this is what was in the attic, guys. I know. Unbelievable. The, and I didn't even get rid of all of them. Dad, can I do, can I fall back onto it? Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna load these up and we're gonna take them to a good will type <laughs> place and hopefully somebody else can get some usage out of these clothes some more mileage a lot of them are in good shape some of them had never even been worn so yeah dad, dad, dad. Watch out, most of them even the and now we're going to load them up in the car and haul them away all right, so yeah, that's a lot of bags, right? Well, I'm glad that I'm able to help um, those in need. Um, and then, you know, the kids just thought it was kind of cool to carry them out to the car and stuff. We had like a little, a little assembly line going and everything and everybody was um, just kind of piling it in the, in the car or whatever. And now you can see us actually putting all these bags in the car. It's kind of funny. Once he got all the bags in the car, there was actually not even enough room for anybody but uh, the two boys, really, with all those bags. And they thought it was cool. It was kind of like a guy's thing. They could kind of do something together. So they went on ahead and got in the car, and they took the stuff to one of the drop boxes. All right, guys, so we got it kind of loaded up here. It's like Christmas morning. All loaded up with the bags. Don't, uh, don't pop the bags, please, because... Uh, they we I had to put them in there so they would go into the can. They won't take them without being bagged up. So there we go. All right, I'm gonna go get a coat and then be ready to make this move. And luckily, they were very fortunate that these drop boxes were not filled because if any of you guys know, especially on the weekends when people are cleaning out closets and things like that, these bins can get filled up pretty quickly. But I give them props, you know. Uh, these bins were fairly empty and uh, we had probably a good 30 bags to put in there. All right, now let's see if it really did fit. What's up guys? It's Daddy B here for a little show. We're gonna cram this thing full of bags. We're gonna stuff it full. Stuff it. And here we go. <laughs>
out in the middle of cleaning everything and tidying things up. You know how you find things that have been long gone and you know the kids are like, oh I remember this and I remember that and things like that. And so Benjamin found um, a lightsaber that, it was an old lightsaber, it didn't even work anymore. And it was cracked and everything but I don't know what it is with kids. They like to like destroy things, like beat things up and um, Anyways, he was like, can I go outside and smash this up? And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? Just put some glasses on. That way, in case anything pops off of it, it doesn't fly yet and hit you in the face. So, anyways, he went ahead and tried to destroy this lightsaber. And he was not having any luck at all. Um, I will say the part I didn't film later on, he eventually did get it to get into a couple pieces. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of fun watching him trying to destroy it <laughs> and then he was like oh I'm gonna use the bat and he hit the concrete and I was like oh no 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 you cannot do that because the concrete will crack <laughs> so anyways uh yeah let's see how well I did okay guys so right now Andre found this lightsaber um I took the batteries out because who needs batteries I'm going to destroy it because I like destroying things so first we're just gonna give it stand back Okay. Like further, 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 okay. further. Be good. Ooh, heard a piece fly off. I heard it too. Destroying the lightsaber. Actually, it's broken anyway. That's one tough lifesaver. That's it. Guys, you just you can't kill the lightsaber. Okay, that's not a good idea. You'll crack my concrete. <laughs> okay, let's do it in the grass. Do what? Is this lightsaber, huh? Ah! You, you killed it. It's dead. <laughs> that, that was a fail. It's indestructible, guys. Who thought that they could break, break a oh! lightsaber? <laughs> <laughs> okay and then the last clip was when we had actually gone back home they had already taken all the bags and everything like that so we had quite a bit of trash as well um and so we went ahead and piled the car up with some trash just junk that needed to go to the dump and we went on to the dump and I don't know if my camera cut off, it had to have cut off, but basically I was getting ready to film Charlie putting in the cardboard, well, he was putting in cardboard into this bin and it was full and I was hoping to be able to catch the lady um, actually smash the stuff because uh, once all the cardboard gets filled up in this little area chamber, they just take the crusher and just like crush it or whatever. So anyways, um, I don't, like I said, I don't know. I guess the camera shut off. But the kids, what is it about the dump? Like, I remember as a kid, my dad going to the dump and I wanted to go every time. I thought it was like the coolest thing, right? When I was little, it was like a landfill dump. So it had like mounds of trash, basically. But it still had the bins that you backed up into and I always thought it was really cool. And uh, anyway, so the boys, of course, they, they like going to it. Ours is, it's a pretty good sized dump facility, but there's no landfill. They must take that stuff out of there and then take it to the landfill. But they have an area where you could put like electronics and stuff. And this place fills up with electronics. And I swear some of these electronics and TVs and things like that have been there for years. Like it's the same Lightning McQueen TV that has been there for years. And um, anyways, the kids were like, can we take any of this stuff? And I was like, no, you don't want to, trust me. It's been here for probably 10 years as it is. It's been rained on for that long and the weather, and even if it did work, it has no chance. But one thing I noticed when we were there is they had uh, shrink wrap a lot of the electronics. So that tells me that they must be getting ready to clear that area out. But it's so funny, I swear the same big screen TV's been there. There's an old, the uh, the original Apple um, computers, remember when they were like colored on the back, you could get like pink and they were like big dinosaur looking things, right? They have one of those there. Anyways, 
it doesn't work obviously but it's been there for a long time so that was that and i'll show you that little bit of clip here and yeah what what are you looking at plastic and everything this used to be cardboard only didn't it Dump all recyclables out of plastic bags and put bags in trash. Well guys, I hope you kind of like this style video. I think it's kind of neat to narrate uh, as you go along. Um, it kind of it gives you the opportunity to tell a little bit more of a story if there is one obviously um but today just was one of those days we were just busy and getting the upstairs clean um the attic cleaned out would be nice uh to have that out of the way and oh the reason why you haven't seen brooke in the video is because today was chris's mom's birthday and i think they all uh, well basically they went to raleigh and they went out to dinner together so she is still there hanging out with them, having a good time. All right guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate all of you. Um, and if you're not yet subscribed, please do so because we post videos every day except for Monday right now. We'll bring Mondays back probably when the kids get out of school and being off on Monday kind of gives me the opportunity to get things done. Um, and I'm dreading I gotta do taxes soon. Not what I want to be doing. But it's got to be done. It's got to be done by April something or another. Alright guys, so be sure to buzz that like button. And we'll see you on Tuesday. Bye.